Hello mga Kakit Angels! Welcome back for another Mazinic episode! This is Teacher Mika and this is Teacher Joyny. For the second part of our lesson on week 3, quarter 1, we will discuss the fundamental operations on integers. After going through this module, you are expected to perform fundamental operations on integers. But what are integers? Integers are the result of the union of the set of whole numbers and the negative of counting numbers. This set would look like this. From the negative numbers, say we have negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. Let's look at this number line. As defined, integers include the set of whole numbers, that is, 0, and going to the right direction are the positive integers or the counting numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. While from 0 going to the left direction are the negative integers, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. These are the opposites of the positive integers. As you can see, negative integers have negative sign or minus sign right before the digits. While as for the positive integers, we may also put positive or plus sign before the digits but to put it simply, we'll just leave them the way they are as a default for positive integers. How about zero? Okay, zero is neither positive nor negative. It is a special number that separates the negative and positive integers. Moreover, you have to take note that as we approach the right direction or the positive infinity, the value of the number gets bigger. Negative 3 is greater than negative 4, negative 2 is greater than negative 3, negative 1 is greater than negative 2, 0 is greater than negative 1, 1 is greater than 0, 2 is greater than 1, 3 is greater than 2, 4 is greater than 3, and so on. While as we approach the left direction or the negative infinity, the value of the number gets smaller. 3 is less than 4, 2 is less than 3, 1 is less than 2, 0 is less than 1, negative 1 is less than 0, negative 2 is less than negative 1, negative 3 is less than negative 2, negative 4 is less than negative 3, and so on. Why do we need to study the set of integers? As for the positive integers, it is easy for us to appreciate them because we use them for counting. But how about for the negative integers? Well, real-life situations prompted the use of negative numbers. In fact, the Indians first used the negative numbers in the 6th and 7th centuries. Now let's have some opposite quantities where the concept of negative and positive integers is evident. So for example, the gain of 1,000 pesos is positive 1,000, while the loss of 1,000 pesos is negative 1,000. Another, 40 degrees Celsius below zero means negative 40 degrees Celsius, while 40 degrees Celsius above zero means positive 40 degrees Celsius. Positive and negative integers are also used to represent measures on above and below sea level. In this picture, 8,845 meters above sea level can be represented by positive 8,845 meters, while 10,994 meters below sea level can be represented by negative 10,994 meters. Let's now proceed to our main agenda, which is to perform fundamental operations on integers, which include addition of integers, subtraction of integers, multiplication of integers, and division of integers. This is just the same as the four basic fundamental operations in mathematics. The only difference is that we are now dealing with signed numbers. That's why we have to follow certain rules in performing these operations. Let's start with the addition of integers. If the integers have the same sign, 
just add the absolute values of the integers and attach their common sign. That is, positive plus positive is equal to positive, meaning the sum of two positive integers is positive. And negative plus negative is equal to negative, meaning the sum of two negative integers is negative. For example, 27 plus 12. So we will just get the absolute value of 27, that is 27, and the absolute value of 12 is 12. And adding the two, we have 27 plus 12, which is equal to 39. Another, negative 20 plus negative 15. So we will just get the absolute value of negative 20, that is positive 20, and the absolute value of negative 15, that is positive 15. Adding the two, we have 20 plus 15, which is equal to 35. And then we will just attach their common sign, which is negative. Therefore, negative 20 plus negative 15 is equal to negative 35. But if the integers have different signs, we have to get the difference between the absolute values of the integers and attach the sign of the larger number to the result. So if we are adding positive and negative integer or negative and positive integer, we have to use the sign of the number having the greater absolute value for the result. For example, positive 38 plus negative 20. So get the difference between 38 and 20, that is 18. And since 38 is greater than 20, then we will use its sign which is positive. Thus, 38 plus negative 20 is equal to positive 18. Another, negative 42 plus 16. Get the difference between 42 and 16, that is 26. And since 42 is greater than 16, then we will use its sign, which is negative. Thus, negative 42 plus 16 is equal to negative 26. Now find the sum of the following for your practice. You may pause the video while answering. First, 8 plus negative 15. Second, negative 6 plus negative 5. Third, negative 11 plus 13. Fourth, 35 plus 17. And lastly, negative 45 plus 25 plus 10. Okay, so let's check your answers. 8 plus negative 15 is negative 7. Negative 6 plus negative 5 is negative 11. Negative 11 plus 13 is positive 2. 35 plus 17 is 52. And negative 45 plus 25 plus 10 is equal to negative 10. I hope you got all the answers right. Now, let's talk about subtraction of integers. Here are the rules. To get the difference of two integers, change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to addition. For any integers a and b, we have a minus b is equal to a plus negative b. a minus negative b is equal to a plus b. Or simply, just remember the rule of keep, change, change. Where you have to keep the sign of the minuend or the first integer, change the operation from subtraction to addition, then change the sign of the subtrahend or the second integer. Let's have example letter A. 10 minus 6. Let's apply the keep, change, change rule. First, Keep the sign of the minuend, which is positive 10. Next, change the operation from subtraction to addition. Then, change the sign of the subtrahend, so from positive 6 to negative 6. Then, proceed to addition. 10 plus negative 6. Remember the rule for different sign. Subtract the absolute values, then attach the sign of the larger number. So the difference of 10 and 6 is 4. Since 10 is greater than 6, we will use its sign, which is positive. Thus, 10 minus 6 is equal to positive 4. Letter B, 15 minus negative 8. Following the keep change change rule, keep the sign of the minuend, which is positive 15. Next, change the operation from subtraction to addition. And... Change the sign of the subterhand from negative 8 to positive 8. 
Then proceed to addition. So 15 plus 8, they are both positive, we'll have positive 23. So 15 minus negative 8 is equal to positive 23. Letter C, negative 3 minus negative 2. Following the keep change change rule, keep the sign of the minuend, we have negative 3. Then, change the operation from subtraction to addition. And, change the sign of the subtrahend. So from negative 2, it will become positive 2. We'll proceed now to addition. Negative 3 plus 2. Remember the rule for different sign. Subtract the absolute values, then attach the sign of the larger number. 3 minus 2 is 1. Since 3 is greater than 2, we will use its sign, which is negative. So negative 3 minus negative 2 is equal to negative 1. And letter D, negative 4 minus 15. Here's the solution. Following keep change change rule, we will keep the sign of the minuend, which is negative 4. Then, change the operation from subtraction to addition. And, change the sign of the subtrahend. So, from positive 15 to negative 15. Then, let's proceed to addition. Negative 4 plus negative 15. We have negative 19. So, negative 4 minus 15 is equal to negative 19. For your practice, subtract the following expressions. Letter A, 5 minus 7. Letter B, 14 minus negative 13. Letter C, negative 59 minus negative 10. Letter D, 0 minus negative 24. And letter E, the difference of the quantity of 18 minus negative 12 and negative 3. You may pause the video while answering. Let's check your answers. For letter A, 5 minus 7 is equal to negative 2. Letter B, 14 minus negative 13 is equal to positive 27. Letter C, negative 59 minus negative 10 is equal to negative 49. Letter D, 0 minus negative 24 is equal to positive 24. And letter E, the difference of the quantity of 18 minus negative 12 and negative 3 is equal to positive 33. Now let's have the rules in multiplying integers. In multiplying integers, find the product of their positive equivalents. And if two integers have the same sign, their product is positive. And if two integers have different signs, their product is negative. That is, positive times positive is positive, negative times negative is still positive, but positive times negative is negative, and negative times positive is negative. For example, positive 4 times positive 5 is positive 20, negative 8 times negative 9 is positive 72, positive 11 times positive 7 is positive 77, Negative 5 times positive 7 is negative 35. Positive 14 times negative 3 is negative 42. And 20 times negative 6 is negative 120. Now find the product of the following for your practice. You may pause the video while answering. First, positive 3 times positive 23. Second, negative 12 times positive 5. Third, negative 8 times negative 7. Fourth, negative 2 times negative 4 times negative 10. And lastly, positive 3 times positive 5 times negative 2 times negative 2. Now let's check your answers. Positive 3 times positive 23 is positive 69. Negative 12 times positive 5 is negative 60. Negative 8 times negative 7 is positive 56. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8, and positive 8 times negative 10 is equal to negative 80. And lastly, first we will get the product of positive 3 and positive 5, that is positive 15, and then we will get the product of negative 2 times negative 2, that is positive 4. So positive 4 times positive 15 is positive 60. And lastly, division of integers. 
Let's have the rules in dividing integers. In here, we just find the quotient of the given integers, then apply the same rules we have in the multiplication of integers. And these are, if the integers have the same sign, their quotient is always positive. And if the integers have different signs, their quotient is negative. So positive divided by positive is positive. Negative divided by negative is positive. Positive divided by negative is equal to negative, and negative divided by positive is also negative. So for example, letter A, positive 45 divided by positive 5 is equal to positive 9. Letter B, negative 8 to 1 divided by negative 9 is equal to positive 9. Letter C, positive 77 divided by positive 11 is equal to positive 7. Letter D, negative 35 divided by positive 7 is equal to negative 5. Letter E, positive 42 divided by negative 3 is equal to negative 14. And letter F, negative 120 divided by positive 20 is equal to negative 6. Note that when you divide a number by 0, the result is undefined. This means that it is impossible to divide a number by zero. So for your practice, find the quotient of the following. Letter A, positive 63 divided by negative 7. Letter B, negative 32 divided by negative 8. Letter C, negative 125 divided by negative 5. Letter D, positive 84 divided by positive 7. And letter E, negative 270 divided by positive 15. You may pause the video while answering. Let's check your answers. For letter A, positive 63 divided by negative 7 is equal to negative 9. Letter B, negative 32 divided by negative 8 is equal to positive 4. Letter C, Negative 125 divided by negative 5 is equal to positive 25. Letter D, positive 84 divided by positive 7 is equal to positive 12. And letter E, negative 270 divided by positive 15 is equal to negative 18. That ends our lesson today. We hope you learned something. See you on our next episode, Kakyut Angels! Keep safe!